Service providers looking to get into the SD-WAN and SD-Access games can now add Cloud Access to their product portfolio. Cloud Access is a highly scalable, affordable software platform for ISPs and other service providers to deliver high-speed, redundant networks with traffic management capabilities for their customers. Cloud Access's network topology is much like every other SD-WAN vendor out there. We have a client device that talks through multiple underlay connections, or paths, to a server device hosted either at a corporate data center or, in most of our cases, in the environment of a service provider. In this video, we want to tackle the infrastructure costs around delivering SD-WAN or cloud access to your customers. We want to show you how you could support 400 customer locations on a single server running an AMD EPIC 7371 16-core processor with 256 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to launch an NUTTCP command to saturate the links at each site and monitor the server's CPU. The device we're using retails for somewhere between three and $7,000, which allows you to affordably scale your offering well beyond most SD-WAN providers. Here you'll see four screens. The top left shows our working screen, the one we're actually typing in these commands to. Top right shows the load on the server. You can see each of the 32 threads and the CPU load on each one of them. We'll want to pay particular attention to that screen. The bottom two screens show our bandwidth monitoring. On the left, the bandwidth monitor for each of the 400 customer locations. And on the right, it's the aggregate of all those locations going over the network. We're starting off by launching 400 cloud access endpoints on our server. Each endpoint is a standalone LXC container built in Proxmox. Each has a client or a customer site connected to it with two 1 meg links. We're aggregating the bandwidth of these links, so each site is doing approximately 2 megabits of traffic. We're going to launch the load test by running a script to initiate the NUTTCP traffic by way of SSHing into each instance. As we do this, notice how the load increases from the running NUTTCP commands. We can see the individual virtual Ethernet interfaces on the bottom left start to show the traffic. And we can also see that on the bottom right, we show our combined network traffic on our bridge port. We're now going to switch over to the Proxmox UI, where we can see the combined CPU load for the server during the multiple tests we're running. If we switch to an individual instance, we can see the CPU and network load per instance. In both cases, very reasonable. If we switch back to the server, we can now see how the load is just reaching a full 400 instances. At this point, our little server is struggling to schedule the 400 copies of NUTTCP, but it's still handling the network traffic just fine. Now we'll kill the NUTTCP processes and watch the server load recover. Notice how the load drops like a stone when we kill them. We're now just idle at all of our sites. The cloud access processes leave a lot of CPU headspace. Thanks for watching. We implore you to set up your own environment and run these tests in your lab. We'd be happy to help you prove out our scalability. We can have everything up and running in an hour, getting you on your way to providing cloud access to your customers.